Hello and welcome back to the Avara Musafir show. In today's episode, we have Mukul Saini with us, who goes by the name of Art Freak on Instagram. He has more than fourteen thousand followers, and he talks about how you can grow as a creator on Instagram. Um, so Mukul is a digital artist, a Photoshop artist, as he calls himself. Um, we talk about what is the process of creating digital art, and what exactly is digital art. What is the future of Photoshop and photo manipulation in India and elsewhere? um so if you are someone who is looking to make a career out of photoshop or digital art this episode is just for you um do watch it till the end it's a very interesting episode very niche based episode but uh, before that just hit the like button guys and subscribe to the channel hi mukul welcome to the avara musafir show um so sabse pehla question to ye hai ki लाइक लाइक ऑल ऑफ द आर्टिस्ट हुआ आउट देयर एंड उनका जर्नी जो होता है उन्हें पता नहीं होता स्टार्टिंग में कि दे आर गोना बी परसुइंग आर्ट एंड दे जस्ट स्टंबल अपॉन इट सम हाउ लाइक किसी फ्रेंड के थ्रू या फैमिली के थ्रू या जस्ट रैंडमली व्हेन दे आर लाइक सर्फिंग ऑन द इंटरनेट सो हाउ डिड यू स्टंबल अपॉन फोटोशॉप एंड हाउ डिड दिस लाइक यू नो लव फॉर क्रिएटिंग डिजिटल आर्ट हैपन टू यू ओके लाइक टू टेल यू अबाउट दिस थिंग लाइक आई हैव अ क्वाइट अ स्टोरी टू टेल Uh, yeah. like uh, i was like just roaming around uh, in my city like mm. i'm basically from jaipur rajasthan okay so like here like ar- architectural buildings are like quite good yeah so yeah. There, there's a museum and like uh, when i was like uh, going like coming from my college and i was like yeah. just took a picture of it and like i was in like uh, using the pixart for a while there like for using okay. like personal photos editing those things Hmm. So so suddenly like I think like, let's give it a try. I was that that time Instagram was like quite good. Like okay. you you won't see memes and all. You will see like yeah. the creative things only. Hmm. So they they are there are few guys like who were little famous about like that time. Yeah. Uh, there's a Justin Min for forty five. So he used to do it like some something upside down, Inception yeah, yeah. thing. So okay. I gave it a try and there was a photo that I like. edited uh, this was this, this is the one yeah yeah you can see okay this is yeah. the same museum that the same museum i just i just like put a single thing uh, like above it and like okay place place sing a woman in between okay. it like yeah. giving a message that it is in it uh, and yeah. all so the day like, when i went to my college and my friends were like uh, like dude it was cool Yeah. Uh, what have you like? How did you do it? And uh, okay. so I was like little uh, excited. Like people mm. are like I was just doing random thing, and like people are taking interest in this thing. Yeah. yeah. So I thought like I'll start creating few more things. Yeah. Then uh, the same time I had like few photos. Uh, so I gave it a try and like edited one more thing. Uh, there's also a photo which is a clock. Okay. In between the 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 clock is also like based on that museum only. Like, okay. If you okay. see that it is a yeah. changing, showing the time or change of mm. time. Yeah. So, like slowly. Previously, I was not using Photoshop. It was like using Snap, like a pic 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 art only. Then okay, Snapseed yeah. came. Uh, yeah. Then I was like doing a few things in Snapseed. Hmm. Then uh, like my friend, visual art friends, like I got like connected with. uh many of those uh, there was a photo shop, photo uh, photo walk uh, in my city okay. there the people like they told like uh, what is the use of photoshop in uh, yeah. photography and everything yeah so i like came to home and like uh, did some research on it like and mm-hmm. like started uh, yeah. working on photoshop uh, like just watched we one or two videos and then started okay then i was like little more interested in like it is quite good like you can do so many yeah, things yeah. then i started with single thing and like doing just cutting a single picture of of some people or something and putting yeah. it in on some something else yeah so changing so the just background pictures yeah the okay. background no not not the background like putting something in the foreground background okay. is the same like manipulate a little of the background and like yeah, put yeah. it some something else okay yeah got so it. that time that time i was like just this much only like you just okay. cut something put something that's all okay. then later on i like uh, i got into like there is also something called color grading you yeah. have to do it that also so like, yeah. like this is something new 
so i was like let's like see how it is like so i got to know about lightroom then i had okay. like watched some videos and did something then like my pictures were like far more better than the previous one because color grading only okay like uh, if if you color grade the images it will like seamless like it is one whole picture not a single okay. like you cannot okay. differentiate yeah. between the original and the new one okay so this scale like uh, the journey of learning uh, became this thing like i was learning new things uh, making new things and like i was like posting it as well uh, so suddenly uh, one picture got featured on a, that there is a, there was a huge bill like uh, enter imagination that time okay. it was like good pay 300 yeah. or 400k yeah so my picture got featured and i was okay. like at, at somewhere else like i was like out of the world like what yeah. just happened so i was like i texted my friends like dude like i my photos are getting featured in the like pages it was from us only it was not indian okay. page okay. so that time it was uh, like something yeah. achievement for me so then again i posted few uh, let me see yeah after four or five picture one more picture got featured but it okay. was in like different pages one yeah. that one and like so like few more three or four features more maybe okay so like this started like i was like craving for features that that time yeah. like i have yeah. to create something that will get feature like so yeah. i was getting followers as well i started with like 500 600 then it was like 2000 so yeah. let's do 10k so one photo of mine changed everything for me like literally my life you can say Uh, i what i would like uh, there was a boat uh, it was a f- like top view of the boat and like yeah, i put yeah. some wings around it so yeah. it was like uh, oh yeah i have, i have seen this picture yeah this one yeah, yeah yeah i i saw this picture on your profile i still remember i got 170 features around okay 170 it was like when i was sleeping in the morning i was like uh, like 15 20 features 1000 mm-hmm. yeah. new comments like 1000 yeah. likes so like that time like i thought let's pursue this it is like okay. i think i am good in it i want to ask you one thing like you were talking about all the features and how your uh, instagram growth happened upon like uh, several times like from 500 you went mm-hmm. to 2000 and then a uh, point came when you reached and, the yeah. 10000 mark so um and this is this is like the favorite question to ask to every creator who has crossed 10k mark because this is like the most selling question how do you get to 10k what is what is the trick or what do you think you did right that you reached that mark for the only thing that i like suggest or like say was like yeah. keep keep learning keep learning literally okay. like the more you will like learn the like that will like reflect on your pictures like your mm-hmm. on your work if you are a photographer or like a yeah. visual artist it will reflect in the start you will be like doing anything from your perspective it is good yeah. but but for the perspective of other like he might not able to see what you are like uh, interrupting like what you are trying yeah. to yeah. say so it is like that so you should like learn like learn techniques the basic thing yeah. and the imagination like you have you should have a good imagination like you should like true, true. think out of the box like like you are going somewhere like you shouldn't like i should do this thing now like yeah. i i should yeah. i should create this thing that is the main thing like your imagination is the like the key thing in this visual art or like if you become want to become a creator in any field yeah. like designer yeah, yeah, and anything you if you see like uh, most of the photographs that like get awards like those are like not a single any simple perspective or like hmm. the usual angles that people took takes yeah it is like whole different thing i i might not able to see what he is trying to say through this yeah. uh, picture yeah. or the photograph that's True. the thing so the imagination perspective and learning the, yeah. these things are quite important okay okay um and i have one very important question um so you are a digital artist you call yourself photoshop yeah. artist right um like your instagram yeah. bio says that um yeah. how different is a photoshop artist or a digital artist from a conventional artist like is there any difference in the perspective like how, like there can be a difference between um how you see the world and how a conventional artist who is like a painter 
he sees the world so according to you what is what is the difference between that i'll say like if you uh, like we take a painter or someone else like everything every art is different it like yeah. you need different skills uh, set to do the painting do the yeah. visual art he might he, do, he don't even know how to use the computer mm. so he, how he cannot like do the photoshop and all yeah. Uh, yeah. so i and i cannot paint that good like i yeah. just can create few things but not that much mm. so it is like what kind of skill set do you have in yourself okay i i was like from the start i was good with computers like i was like uh mm. learning coral and so many things i learned in my childhood mm. only without anything so i knew like i can do something so like yeah. i went i gave it a try just to try like what what's uh, the worst can happen mm. so it was good but if i differentiate between different type of artist and me it yeah. is about the skill set i guess because okay. they have different skill set i have different skill set yeah. but the imagination is same like the thinking he might think differently yeah. but yeah. we are like trying to portray something which is like not being portrayed yeah. till now and and i guess it is also because like the medium of your art form is different so you have to think differently right yeah like uh, he like he needs to think from scratch what yeah. he needs to like start brushing like uh, mm. from the very start i have something to build like i have a one picture then i'll start thinking how yeah. to modify yeah. this so this is different like yeah. my so job I is guess, little easier yeah so i guess you can put it this way ki uh, a conventional artist he has to complete a picture and a digital artist he has to take that completed picture to a next level to to something yeah. which is unimaginable right yeah correct okay um so like i i want to know ab jaise koi conventional artist hai ya uh, yeah. jo purane bahut painters hai so uh, maine unhe bolte hue suna hai ki digital art is cheating because unke liye this is something very new because computers hai and sab pc ke upar hota hai there's uh, uh, softwares involved so how do you deal with this like what is what is your answer to this thing ki digital art is a sort of a cheating i can uh, the simple thing i can say like yeah you might have heard uh, like you have done photography or you have heard yeah. the people who edit your their photos like color grade only mm. like, like not the true photographers as like mm. people mm. say that yeah yeah like if if you have taken a picture you just put it as as it is and like post it that's yeah. the okay his it's people's like someone's perspective it's not mine it's not yeah, yours yeah. if we can improve something we should improve uh, so yeah. that's the thing like if like uh, you are saying like it is not it's a cheating hmm. that's the thing like you don't have a single art form like yeah. you have different sub categories you have different subset of those things yeah. so like maybe yours is different maybe difficult but yeah. it is also art from it is dif- different because it is loved it related, related to like computers and new technology yeah. so yeah. maybe they are not like comfortable with like they are like being replaced or like no competition is like getting in, uh, hmm. like being built. it's it's the same debate right uh, which is like film cameras and the digital camera yeah it's the same digital debate camera. same yeah. like uh, who take pictures from digital cameras are like cheaters like yeah. easy to do it yeah, yeah. so uh, there's one more thing uh, as your instagram name suggests art freak um, i was going through your profile and there are some like really freaky pictures like uh, you create the dystopian world some other universe all together uh, before creating a picture or i should say like before creating a digital form of art uh, what kind of thoughts go into your mind like what are you thinking before uh, anything that you create okay this might this might sound crazy to you actually yeah. in the very beginning i was like if i am like i have something like i have to create something my mind yeah. in that phase only like how can i do this so what i do was like like when i have free time i just mm. open unsplash unsplash yeah. your like website like we yeah, you yeah, can yeah. download free, free for all so i go through some pictures uh, and like 
if i like some few pictures like i think i can do this something with this picture i put mm-hmm. it in my like mind like ha yeah it can be done like it can be modified yeah yeah so then i start thinking of like anything if yeah if i like put it upside down if yeah, i yeah. change this thing i put it something else so like uh, then like i can try this thing like then i sit on my computer and start doing it sometimes yeah. i create something i was like not expecting myself yeah. like literally like uh, this like few things are like i am like, so proud of myself like i think so okay. that's the thing like it is not like i think like i'll create this thing and it will come mm. that way only it does not yeah. happen like i think something else it comes in a different uh, form yeah so uh, like, you will see like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Different. like if you see in my small the like, perspective is that different like key thing for me like every perspective is different in my photograph mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. third dimension top yeah. top view yeah. so yeah. like i uh, like that my imagination goes that way only so generally i make just a little, little, little bit inspired by that yeah, yeah. so um, i i guess you have lot of experience in uh, digital art now and you are like uh, i what should i say uh, you you have like 15000 followers on instagram so i am guessing you have some amount of experience in this field um, and according to you what what sort of mistakes do beginners make in this field like are there any particular things which they ne- need to notice mm. first thing don't pursue followers simple thing yeah instagram is not a platform where you like you judge yourself on like if i get 2 likes that like you are less talented if i get 5000 likes i am more talented that's not a mm-hmm. thing so the likes the amount of people's comment is doesn't dip, like doesn't qualify that you are a good or you are bad yeah. so people make mistake that way like uh, they start something they don't get likes they don't get mm-hmm. follow they get disappointed then they quit yeah the story of everyone this is the same yeah. even i have created three accounts for my photography but it doesn't work so i was like let's forget it but i take it just don't post it so mm-hmm. even if you like like doing it you should do it it's not like i should post it i should get likes do something else with it like try to uh, approach many like there are many platforms medium yeah, yeah. Uh, you might use twitter you can use yeah. facebook if not you can just print it out sell it out so yeah. many things are there you should come you can work for any any uh, come designer come designing company you can design portfolios so hmm. like if you have a creative skill set you can use it in a different direction but it is not like you can quit you should quit so don't depend like um, if uh, my instagram yeah. uh, page is not working i am not the i don't know anything so that's not right people mis- make mistake this thing like i have seen literally my friends are like th- those who are like re- little creative they they don't put efforts because like do they are i'm yeah. not getting likes hmm so yeah i guess uh, the whole art community right now is like influenced by the number of likes and followers people have so yeah, yeah i guess that's a good advice um i want to know like i saw this really interesting thing on your bio which says uh, content creator for wally app right so yeah. uh, what what sort of uh, content do you create for the app like uh, wallpapers right uh so uh, when at the very start it was like whatever i have created i was just hmm. giving to them like okay they have a particular uh, like criteria to like yeah. post in like there so i was like, nah, this picture uh, fulfills that so i should like yeah. send yeah. send it out the copyright and everything uh, i own only but yeah. it, it is like i i am like putting in my my pictures I, like i was telling you about like if instagram is not working see uh, yeah. these so are many wally is another yeah wally is another platform to showcase your okay so i just put it out there and like people downloaded it from here and like they love it like uh, there also i have mentioned my instagram people come there from yeah. wally to instagram and like do your wallpapers are good and something else yeah so yeah. Th- it's a wallpaper app which i mm. like i put my uh, 
images in the good quality so people can download and use it yeah. Yeah. then later like uh, then according to the few phones like if you see iPhones like they have a notch so I create images according to that like if this yeah. wallpaper should look better on iPhone so I like create yeah. the thing yeah. dark, wallpaper, dark wallpapers people would prefer more so I create more wallpaper uh, okay. respect of the Instagram yeah so uh, like this is sort of a stream for you to earn as a digital artist um yeah. what what other kind of streams are there for digital artists to earn in 2020 volley is a one thing second i guess uh, there Jaj, are there are like Jaj many there, apps right now right any apps yeah, yeah. like many there are ton of apps man like like yeah. uh, if not app like websites are there mm -hmm. people are literally like uh, for the interior designing like people are buying the prints so like they put it as a they frame it and like put it in the, their walls and posters and wallpaper apps and so many things if you want to explore so yeah. I, I don't remember actually everything so like a few yeah. things i know my, my friends use this volley is edge uh, and that's it like two yeah. things i know and you can uh, you can also design websites and all now uh, if i'm not wrong. yeah yeah I, I, do it. I do that comes only yeah comes in but like if you like know the basics of photoshop you know uh that there are like few apps uh adobe xd Figma. Mm -hmm. yeah. Figma. so like these apps are like based on those tools only like pen tool okay. tech tool so like yeah. if you know if you have a knowledge of photoshop you will be comfortable with those things also you can design yeah. ux ui um so like uh, i was i was going to ask you this question later on but now um we are talking about photoshop uh now that the pandemic has hit the world and everything is gonna happen like online mostly digitally mostly so uh what do you think is the future of photoshop because photoshop when it was released it was known as like a toy for kids right and now it has become something which is very essential for everyone to know it's it's like a proper skill. So what do you think is the future of digital art and uh, Photoshop for that matter? I don't think so Photoshop is going to go away. Photoshop okay. is like from, from from since our childhood like we were yeah. we have been seeing like this is Photoshop. So Photoshop is like can be replaced with some other app but it yeah. will be it will yeah. it will be present. It will be with us for a long time now. Hmm. It is like if you are like comparative with uh, this pandemic, I think uh, people sitting at home are doing much more things uh, with Photoshop than before because they have they, they have to do some, something like they have to pass the time. So like they are just uh, like doing something, doing editing. If you yeah, see yeah. Uh, the memers, they are also do mm -hmm. using most of the memers are using Photoshop yeah. to like uh, do these things. So like it is being used, but in a different form, different platform, different. Yeah. Uh, so place. like photo manipulation and photo editing will always be there. Uh, Photoshop be there or not. Yeah. But Photoshop, uh, it doesn't depend on Photoshop actually. Yeah. You can, yeah. I was, you. I, I told you I was using PixArt. Yeah, I was yeah. like, okay. there are many apps. There are many mm. apps. Yes, but the thing is for people are familiar with Photoshop. So they are, they have mm. been using. Yeah. And, um, how easy is it to, you know, use Photoshop or like just to learn photo manipulation? Uh, I think in one week you can start. Okay. You just need to, you just need to download the app. You just need to, it's a little, little bit, little bit costly. Uh, so, but, uh, you can download it. You can watch few videos free of cost on youtube there are yeah. ton of videos they are good channels like they mm. teach you from the very start to the master yeah. like level so you just you can like learn and do something do anything yeah. edit your pictures then mm. you'll know how to do how things yeah. work yeah. then or if you want to become crazy a, with your friends picture like just make them look like idiots, idiots yeah. yeah make them aliens make them anything yeah so like that's also like uh that way you will be like knowing how kind of like what kind of thinking what kind of imagination you have yeah yeah so you'll get to explore yourself in that mm. field
Uh, so give it a try. Not Photoshop, anything maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. So uh, do you do you have any digital stores right now of your own? No man. Actually, I was going. I had plans, but uh, some things uh, okay. interrupted that. So not right now. Okay, but then um, how good is it a form of earning for uh, digital creators like digital stores? Mm. You want me to be honest? Yeah. So like, uh, this is a like very uh, dicey answer because mm. few things work for you. Maybe the same thing won't work for me. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many uh, friends who ha who does who does the same thing. Uh, there's Mr. Colopsia. He's quite uh, good with Photoshop. He's pursuing full time. He has like uh, done this thing. So he's like trying, he's earning, he's good man. So, but at the same time, I've, I'm not that, like I didn't pursue that full time. And like, uh, I cannot say like how much you can earn. How, yeah. because yeah. it is not like, you cannot comment how much you will earn, how much you can earn from a mm. single job. Yeah. You might have to explore many different things like, if you see a simple photographer, he does video also. He does yeah. make videos for something else. He takes picture. He do, does wet, wet. so like it is not dependent on one single thing. You explore. You design yeah. websites. You design anything yeah. that will make like that will give you money. But if you think I'll do the Instagram, I'll earn, I'll I'll become rich. That is not going to happen. Yeah. Um, and I, I want to know, uh, what does a career in digital art look like? Like, can people take digital art as a full, full time career? They can actually, they can, I am actually, I had also planned this thing only. Mm -hmm. Um, I have, I still have this plan. I'm going to pursue this only, Yeah. but like, it's like what market requires actually yeah, yeah. if you see it is not required that much in market then you'll be like struggling hmm. so it is on you like if you want to struggle like or if you want to like make yourself make that much efficient like if you don't get money from that you will not be dependent on so my my thing is like it's my hobby hmm. or it's my like i know it's I'm good at this thing. So yeah, yeah. what I do is like I create for my, uh, like myself, I, I put it on Instagram. I earn money. It's okay. Yeah. Like if I don't, it's, it's, it's all okay. But uh, if I want to pursue it, I think I will make I twice. Like okay. if, you want, if I want to pursue it, but and you can I pursue want... like you, you need to put efforts, man. Like yeah. it is not that like is, that is true for any kind of career, like be it banking or be it any art form. It's the same thing. And I also yeah. think like, uh, since like all of the world was sitting at their homes for like eight, nine months, now people are much more used to working on the laptop and on the cloud. So I guess like for me, um, digital art and all those things like illustration, Photoshop, all of these things will be growing far more now, um, as compared to before. Yeah. How good you are. You have to make available in everything. Not yeah. just Photoshop, Illustration, Premiere yeah, Pro, yeah. After Effects, uh, and simple apps on your device. So yeah. you can like handle like anywhere you can edit, anywhere you can like your content. Hmm. So that is the thing. Like you have to be little more like into it. You have to give efforts. That way yeah. you will easily learn. You can easily make a living out of it. Yeah. Um, so that was, uh, my thing, like when I started photography or like now yeah. I'm doing podcasts, uh, before the pandemic, I wouldn't even think about starting something like this. Like podcast was not even a question for me. And now that mm -hmm. I know everyone is sitting at their home and people are bored, they want to consume content. I can create this sort of things. So I guess, yeah, um, digital things will start happening soon. Um, and before we end this podcast, I have a very, uh, sort of deep question for you, which I ask with every artist that comes on the show. So, uh, and it is like, not just for digital art. This question is for every artist, like be it a chef or a painter, um, or a photographer that matter, any, anyone, 
um what do you think inspires an artist like what what is that in nature um, that thing like you just pushes you to create art uh, yeah it's quite difficult to t- pushes me to my my own creativity my own like if you see uh, like if you see a sci-fi movie hmm. today like the next day you will be having more imaginative thoughts 100% so the surrounding the environment and like what you think about these things or like how you think out of the box yeah how yeah. much you think out of the box that that pushes me like if i'm getting too many thoughts like i can do this i can do this i can make yeah. this so i will try to make it yeah but i'm getting one thought in like a very long time i will like leave it it's just one like uh, it won't it yeah. might not work so it's like i am just thinking that way you all you are also like everyone is creative they just don't think that way yeah. if you stop thinking they yell, thoughts won't come like uh, you have to create an image how suddenly like you are eating something and like you should create an image that yeah. that won't uh, make you like uh, to like push you to the push you to create something mm. so an artist also is like have a little bit of in, inside him like he's like he looks everywhere he sees everywhere he finds something he finds some motivation that motivates him to create something yeah. so that is like even 1% 5% is inside you like i need to create something yeah. so you look for motivation and if you find one you create something so the motivation is important okay so yeah that was like my last question for you um thank you so much yeah. for coming on the show man it was a great conversation i had no yeah, clue like too, digital digital art takes so much from a person and you need to think so much be- before creating anything so thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and i hope yeah. so we do this thank sometime you. again um yeah sure yeah looking forward to this happening soon again yeah sure sure